The year is 2002, and Mattel, the brand that brought us the one and only Barbie, is sweating. Why, you ask? One word, brats. The trendy dolls that stole the hearts of young girls all around the world just the year before. So what does Mattel do? They set out to create a rival or direct ripoff of these Bratz dolls, and they were called My Scene Dolls. Now me personally, I was even born in 2002. So I never owned a Mycene doll or a Bratz doll for that matter. However, you know I was giving Barbie, Chelsea, Noli, and Madison some killer manicures on Mycene.com. With all that being said, I thought today we could decorate rooms, but every room is a different Mycene doll. In The Sims 4, obviously. Today is going to be a long video, so strap in. We are going to be building today in San Myshuno on the Fountain View penthouse lot because today's build is diverse directly inspired by this Mycene playset and this clip from, I believe it's one of the movies. Off camera, I built our shell because it's kind of the boring part, but I will explain to you my vision. So obviously this whole apartment is centered around the loft part. Since the lot is so big, I decided to do like two lofted spaces on both sides. So we have four bedrooms in total, three bathrooms, two on the top floor, one on the bottom floor. We have an extra room that I think I might make into a laundry room. I'm not entirely sure. As you can see, we have a little staircase we can't do spiral stairs in The Sims 4, unfortunately. So I did this kind of like cross section stairway. If we look at it from the top, there's like a platform here. And this hollowed out space here, I think is going to be the kitchen. We also have a little deck area back here that we will make into a little like patio space. But I feel like the best place to get started would be on the bottom floor here. Let's get some inspiration. So if you don't know, not only were there Mycene dolls, but there were also webisodes, movies, games on everythinggirl.com or mycene.com, which is where we are going to be taking heavy, heavy, heavy inspiration from. Specifically little screen grabs like these and also these little play sets. All the main girls came with except for Madison, unfortunately. These are going to be heavy, heavy inspiration. Obviously, we're also going for that funky 2000s vibe. Let's get started. For some reason, I cannot find any pictures of the loft that I'm referencing with this build other than this screen grab from Lil Speaks video, but these are the vibes. So I want this to be bright and colorful. We do like maybe like some brick and like an accent wall because their lofted apartment does kind of have that like industrial vibe. We could do brick on this like elevator wall here. This one is literally called lofty brick. So I feel like it might be a little bit too perfect. I don't know if I want to do like a red or like a brown. I feel like it's kind of a vibe. Maybe I'll add it to the outside here so it makes a little bit more sense. I'm also gonna add a trim here so we can just like leave this and forget about it. We could add the brick to these walls here as well. I also don't know how I feel about the stairs. They are black in the reference photos as well as this here is kind of like a railing. I did change it cause I didn't love how it looked but I think I kind of want to put it back to a more like industrial vibe. Yeah, I feel like it's kind of a vibe. As for the walls down here, I know they're all brick right now but I definitely don't want them to be. I'm thinking we do like like a lime green or like a yellow or even a pink. So there's that green, but there's also this green from the pastel pop kit. And I think I kind of want to go for it. As for the floors, it's kind of hard to tell. I think for the kitchen area here, I would like to do a tile. I don't know. It's subject to change. I'm just trying to like map out a floor plan. And for the floors out here, I was thinking we just do a wood. Wow. This room is so large, but to be fair, I don't think it's going to take us that long to decorate because their rooms in general were super duper plain. If we throw back to that picture, they literally have one chair, one couch, and a coffee table. Now we're definitely going to be decorating it up more than that, but just for reference, if you think it's a little empty, you know, I'm following the source material. So for this area, I was thinking of putting the TV here. I think I'm going to keep this space a little bit more open. We'll probably add some things here and there, but this is going to be where the living room is. I still don't know if I'm like absolutely loving the brick. I think it's kind of a cool vibe. <gasps> what if we did like a white brick. <gasps> 
Oh, a vibe. It's like modern industrial. This looks so much better. Let's quickly space out this living room, maybe. It's definitely gonna be a large living room. Do not get me wrong. I feel like using this TV would be perfect. Bring in some fun colors. We definitely need some sort of like table to go underneath it. The vibes are like really confusing of this space. I don't know the names of most like interior design things. So I'm the wrong person to ask about these things. But to give you a visual... I feel like it's a mix between something like this and also something like this. Is that even a style at this point? I don't know. That makes it look a little bit more purposeful. Also, I know it's a wall like in the middle of nowhere. Don't mention it. It is going to help us with our living room area. Back to a side table. Ooh, do we have something like this, but bigger maybe? What about something like this maybe? They have this like ginormous green carpet in the middle of the floor. I kind of want to follow suit. I don't know how well these colors are going to work together. And I personally have a very hard time with matching different colors together so this is going to be a tricky feat for me i kind of like the idea of this carpet in the middle it kind of matches our wallpaper it brings in a little bit of the pinks from over here we need some couches I'm not entirely sure what i want to do for a couch i do love these ones they're a little bit modern but i feel like they kind of are a vibe and they're very nice and spacious i feel like what's throwing me off is the harshness of this dresser i think maybe all together we need to find a new one. Is that purple kind of cool? I feel like it takes away from the harshness that was the black one before. I just don't know if it's matching with like, because this has a little bit of orange on it. Ooh, I like this one. We definitely need a coffee table, something large to go in the middle to fill up some space. Do we add it green to make it match a little bit more? Or do we make it orange to match the pillows a little bit more? Or do we just make it like white? Let's just do white. I feel like it's the safest option. I don't want to go too crazy. I'm very out of my comfort zone right now with this style. So please bear with me. I feel like a jukebox would be kind of a vibe. So far, I'm really liking how this is looking. I feel like we should also get a, a ceiling light. It's not letting me put it up as high as I want it to. I want it to be like on the top floor. Mm, let me see what I can do. After some trial and error and having to move the staircases, I have put a chandelier in like the middle common area and with a little extra cluttering here is our living room area all complete i really like how it turned out before we do the like front area here i am gonna throw together a kitchen i'm kind of wanting like something bright and modern i wouldn't mind doing a little backsplash though we could do this like fun green backsplash <gasps> Ooh, or this one i don't know how i feel about the tile though we could even just do concrete because I decided to make it concrete up here. Yeah, that works. Add a little bit of a separation with a low fence. This is gonna be a pretty big kitchen, to be fair. And it's gonna cover like this window part. There's gonna have a little cabinetry, but it's just what has to be done. I was thinking these cabinets, obviously not in that color. Ooh, I kind of love the orange. Little fridge in this corner. I was thinking of putting the stove there. This is definitely a funky kitchen. I don't know if I've ever done anything like this. And then I was thinking a big counter in the middle and then over over here, we could do some like cabinetry. Okay, I like how this is looking. And then back here, we could put like a formal dining area maybe. We don't even need anything that big. We just need something even like this, honestly. Just something that's able to hold four seats. Oh, maybe I should mention now, I am not going to be making a room for DeLacy or DeLancey, I believe, just because she's not in the original doll line that was released. Okay, I think I like the vibes of this little like formal dining room area. I kind of want to add a little chandelier above here or some sort of light fixture like so, as well as a rug. Okay, cute. Maybe since we don't have too, too much room back here, we could do a little like built-in shelf moment by bringing this in and put some shelving back here like so okay cute cute i think i just want a little range hood over the stove and then i think we're pretty much done our kitchen and here is our little kitchen i think it turned out super stinking cute now i think off camera i might quickly throw us together our little bathroom and our little laundry room i am so proud of these rooms i decided to do them off camera because i want to get into the meat 
meat of the video, which is obviously making the rooms for the girls, but I love how these two rooms turned out. Obviously this one's a laundry room and here is our guest bathroom. I don't know if these 100% scream my scene, but I kind of was just going for a more maximalist vibe and I feel like I accomplished that. So now that we've done those two rooms, I was thinking we could add maybe a little like bar over here and kind of decorate like the underside of the lofts before we move on to the upstairs. Now in this universe, we are just going to pretend that all these girls are like 21. I know that they like are supposedly like 15 or so, which I find really strange, but they are seen going to the club a lot. So in our universe, they are old enough to do so and they have a bar in their house because they love to party. Here's our little bar station. I maybe even wanna put some concrete over here too just because I feel like it would make a little bit more sense. And if there's like any spills or anything, then it won't get on the floor. Well, it will, but it just won't get on the wood. We also have our little mailbox and our trash chute over here. And I was thinking, over in this corner, we could just add some furniture, maybe even like a bookshelf. Cute. And I'm just gonna add some artwork over here. A little coat rack by the door or by the elevator. A little shoe rack, of course, too. A little welcome mat. Do another bookshelf. And with a little extra cluttering, I believe our downstairs of our lofted apartment is all complete. This part doesn't exist. Don't talk about it. I love how every inch of this apartment looks. I think it is so stinking cute. It's definitely giving like an early 2000s vibe with all the bright colors, but it also has like, there's just so many aesthetics going on in here, but I feel like they all just mesh so well together. I'm gonna leave the balcony out here for last, I think. But overall, I am obsessed with this apartment. Finally, moving on to the upstairs. And now I get to tell you a little bit more about the actual Mycene characters. So in the first generation that was released in 2002 of the Mycene dolls, there was Barbie, Chelsea, Madison, and Noli. And that is going to be who we're gonna be making rooms for today. For our first room, I feel like it only makes sense to give it to Barbie. Let me tell you a little bit about her. Barbie, or Barbara Roberts, is the girl we all know and love, but just a little bit more trendier. She was one of, if not the first character of the Mycene dolls introduced. Canonically, she is born on September 30th, which makes her a Libra. Barbie would describe herself as cute, but edgy. She has a love for all things party and is the best at planning occasions in the friend group. She loves shopping with her best friends and chatting. She also is a big fan of gadgets and technology. Now these rooms are going to be heavily inspired by the My Scene My Room doll set. All of the girls have a doll set like this except for Madison for some reason so I think we're going to have to do a little bit of ad-libbing when it comes to her room but we're not there yet. As you can see from this picture, Barbie loves pink. Who's surprised? I'm also seeing lots of white, black patterns. It's a mix between like classy quoquette almost and like early 2000s fashion which I feel like kind of describes the whole apartment. Now I do like the mention of the fact that Barbie loves gadgets. I don't think she would be a gamer though in my personal opinion just from watching the webisodes. They seem to care more about things like partying and shopping but we are going to give her a nice computer setup and a couple more gadgets. Let's get started on this room. I was thinking for floors we could do this like white wood. Nothing too fancy just plain and simple. And for the wallpaper obviously I want to do pink. And I think I want to do a pattern wallpaper like the one that we see in the back of the doll set that I mentioned before. It kind of just looks like this one. As for a bed, once again, looking for something pink here. Don't know if I want to go classic or more early 2000s with the bed. I really love this bed frame and I think I am going to do it, but, but I'm going to use this bed and put it on top to change the bed sheets. I think that looks so stinking cute. Let me give her some little fancy bedside tables. And I think over here, is where I want to put her desk. Something like this is kind of fun. It's a little more modern. Ooh, but maybe I like this one better. Yeah, it's a little bit smaller too, which I can appreciate. Obviously, we got to give her the pink heart chair. No questions asked. These rooms are kind of small now that I'm realizing it. For the size of this apartment, the rooms are a little tiny. I'm going to give her a cutesy little pink desktop. Give her some little lamps on her bedside table. I'm going to give her a little pink welcome mat outside of her door as well. And by her bed here, I'm going to give her this little like hot pink checkered rug. I don't think I'm going to do any curtains, but we definitely need some sort of closet slash dresser. Maybe just one like this. Kind of a vibe. Definitely need a mirror. This one is so cute. Maybe we bump out this corner here and give her a little TV. Cute. Now we don't have a red cell phone, but we do have a little 
pink cell phone. So I'm gonna add that here on her desk. We should also add a couple more technology things since that's kind of her thing, right? Add a little smart speaker, little digital alarm clock, maybe a Wabbit tablet. And just for fun, I kind of want to add the little robot vacuum or more commonly known as the Roomba. She does actually have a pet, so we could add a little pet bed just as a nod to it. Supposedly she has a pet Yorkie. <laughs> Do you think we have any Mycene art on the gallery? Well, here is our Barbie Mycene room all complete. I think it does capture that Mycene vibe. It is also just kind of a pink bedroom. The style of the Mycene girls is just so unique and so hard to capture that I just don't know if it's something that The Sims 4 really can do. Moving on to our next room, who should we do next? I feel like Barbie was closest to Madison, so maybe the next bedroom will be Madison's. Let me tell you a little bit about Miss Madison. Madison or Wesley, depending on where you're from, was one of the original girls. Madison's birthday is on August 3rd, which makes her a Leo. Madison loves music and aspires to be a songwriter slash music producer. She is the band manager for the band Urban Desire. Madison is the quote unquote shopper of the gang. She loves shopping for both herself and her friends. So like I mentioned before, Madison actually did not come with a my scene my room set so we're gonna have to do a little bit more ad living when it comes to her style in this set called my scene secret locker i'm seeing a lot of orange i'm seeing a lot of reds a lot of like earthy tones i would say she did come with this little party pad later on but i don't know if this is necessarily her style it's a part of the loft play set that i showed you guys before i do see here that her room looks like it might be purple. I don't know if this is her room or what's going on here. I'm a tad confused. I do think I am getting the gist that her colors are orange, beige, and blue. So I think that's what I'm going to go off of. Starting off with the floors, I think I'm going to go with a beige. Should I just do the same color as our floors in the house? Might be a good idea. Now her colors are blue and orange and beige. I was thinking maybe we could do like a blue wallpaper. Looks like her blue might be more of a like sky blue color. And then maybe we can bring in some of that orange with the bed. Ooh, we could even do a little like accent wall like this. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, I like that a lot. For a bed, this might be a little bit complicated. I like the colors of this bed, but I just, I don't know. I think I've decided on this. I combined this bed from Eco Lifestyle and this bed from the high school years pack, I believe. And I think it looks really cute. Brings in some of that orange like I was talking about. Do we have like an animal print rug or something? I feel like that would bring in a little bit more pattern. Yikes, maybe not. I feel like a lot of them are too harsh. Let's give her some bedside tables. She does have a love for music. So I kind of want to give her that like turntable type thing if you guys know what i'm talking about this but smaller this perfect just a reminder i care more about aesthetics than i do functionality so i'm also going to give her a microphone because it would make sense to have it in here and i also think i'm gonna give her a chair even though you're supposed to stand and use this item maybe this little chair with the leaves on leaves those are obviously feathers to bring in some yellow i kind of am feeling like a reading nook in this corner i call it a reading nook but more just like a nook it doesn't have to be a reading one maybe just a little couch like so actually i don't know we'll come back to it let's get her a dresser i was thinking something like this kind of a vibe she does seem to have like a white furniture thing going on though so maybe we'll stick with that i also think i want to give her one of these so she has a little place to like hang up her clothes i think this would just look better if it was tan Ooh, i kind of like that better like that anyways maybe over here we could just put like a big mirror like so we should put a tv on this though just so that miss madison has something to do in here and i'm feeling like i kind of want a little like bench or something to go at the end of the bed i think to break it up in here a little bit more i kind of want to bring in some of the brick or even just this wall and maybe lighten the blue yeah i think that's a little bit better and i think with some off-camera cluttering here is our madison room all complete i think it turned out super cute without the help of that like my scene my room thing i still think we did a pretty decent job i love the maximalist vibe of this apartment it is so it's just so good coming back to this bathroom here. I think I want to do it kind of like a split room, but with the same wallpapers, if that makes sense. Like one side is this blue and then the 
other side is this pink for Barbie, just so that it feels like it's more both of their bathrooms rather than just the one. And also just to, you know, this bathroom is just so large, so we might as well. I think I'm gonna do both just white tile though, or we could do the matching tile. Oh, I feel like we gotta. It's too perfect. It's giving Sam and Kat's bedroom. I was thinking we could put matching countertops, like all one here, since the window's here and like they would get the most natural lighting and then put those little like round mirror things. Cute. Over here, we definitely need a shower. Maybe one here and the other one here. Sink and then toilet right beside it. Oh my gosh, a blue toilet and then there's a matching pink one. How perfect. It, is it a bit weird that they can be looking at each other? Yeah, maybe, but you know, who cares? I finished up this little bathroom off camera, but I think it looks so stinking cute. I love it. Let's move on to the other side of our loft and let's do our girl Chelsea's room next. Chelsea is my girl. I don't like to play favorites, but if I was going to, Chelsea would probably be my favorite. Chelsea was once again, one of the, original My Scene dolls. And Chelsea was actually the only doll to be produced through the entire run of the My Scene line. Me and Chelsea are almost birthday twins. Her birthday is on November 10th. Mine's on the sixth, which makes her a Scorpio. Like me, Chelsea is creative, giving, sweet, hardworking, and happy to help. She enjoys fashion design and has an original funky and flirty personal style. She sometimes even customizes her own outfits. She sells her designs at a flea market and her prized possession is her notebook in which she sketches all her designs. Finally, someone came in through with a Pinterest board. Look at this. I love everything about this. I love the like dark. I don't even know how to describe these girls fashion designs. I don't have the words in my vocabulary for it. We are once again going to be somewhat basing it off of the My Scene My Room set where Chelsea is seen wearing green, but we are seeing lots of brown and actually like some peachy tones as well. With our little Pinterest board here and our other additional information, let's get started. I really wish we had a sewing machine in The Sims 4. Please, Sims 4, give us a sewing machine. I don't even need it for function. I just need it for aesthetics. I think I want Chelsea's room to be a little bit more like dark, not like emo, but just like a little bit more moody is kind of the word I want to go for. Ooh, should we use the new Crystal Creations wallpaper? I feel like we should. And for the floors, I think I'm just going to do the same one that we normally do. I also think I want to turn these inside out so that I can change the color of them. Please don't hate me for doing this. I just feel like it looks a little bit better this way. And it looks like almost exactly the same on the outside because the white for some reason doesn't change. I wish you could just change the inside and not the outside. We need a bed for Chelsea. Maybe opposed to something pink, red, or orange. Ooh, this one's kind of a vibe. I think I'm gonna use this bed just to bring a little bit more light back into the room. Some little like thrifted looking bedside tables. Ooh, we should get a mannequin in here. Not sure where yet. I think I wanna put a desk here. I would like to use the desk that has like the yarn in it and such. I mean, this orange one's not too bad. I might be eating my words. We'll just add yarn around it. I want a desk that looks a little bit more vintage. I've never seen this desk before, but why is it kind of a vibe? Little chair. I think I'll give her a little laptop, but I do want to give her some knitting things. Like this little like knitting book. Add something like this and like this. Lots of yarn. I definitely want a mannequin. I think I'm going to try to look for one on the gallery. I found this little mannequin on the gallery and I feel like it is totally giving Chelsea's aesthetic. Over here though, we do need to add like an actual dresser because we don't even have that yet in here. I like this one because it looks thrifted. Let's do a little mirror as well. Cute. Let's do a little like, so maybe she can like sit here and do her makeup or something. With my usual off-camera cluttering, here is our Chelsea's room all complete. I think it looks really, really nice. I love how different it is from the other girls' rooms. And overall, I think I did a pretty good job with it. Let's move on to our last my scene girl room, but not her last room. This room is going to be for last but not least, Miss Noli. Noli was first produced in 2003, my birth year, and she was the fourth character to be introduced to the My Scene girls. Noli's birthday is May 24th, which makes her a Gemini. Noli would describe her look as quote unquote, I wear what I want. That's really gonna help us out with decorating a room for you, Noli, thanks. Noli is the sporty, intelligent girl in the group. She is very boho chic and she loves fortune telling, yoga, and tarot cards. She loves skateboarding and 
rollerblading and is just overall very naturally athletic. Noli does actually have one of the My Scene My Room sets. I'm not seeing honestly much other than green and some purple. I'm really not getting a clear color scheme for Noli. I'm thinking of just going with green and maybe try to slip some purple in there to try to like go with her My Scene My Room doll. Let's just see where it goes. For wallpaper, like I said, I would like to do a green. I think I'm gonna go with this one. And for the floors, I might do the same. It seems like Barbie's the only one that doesn't have this like brown flooring in her room. It wouldn't ruin it to add it in here though. Maybe I will just for continuity state sake. For Noli's bed here, I would love to do a green. Maybe we go for this bed to kind of stick with that like boho vibe of her aesthetic, supposedly. Maybe we can change the wallpaper color and add in green by using some of these and like other furniture pieces like so. And then maybe we can even have her have a little bit of the brick on like this wall here. Kind of cute. And before I forget, I need that skateboarding detail on the wall. How about the bed could be cute? I kind of want to add the bonsai tree because in her little my scene my room thing she has a tiny bonsai tree and I never use the bonsai tree there's this one too that I will add somewhere at some point but I want this one just like in the corner she hasn't worked on it yet but it's there actually I don't think I'm gonna use the actual one I think I'm just gonna use this little chair here and throw the little bonsai tree on top of that let's get her a dresser this one is very boho did we already use that one though we did but it's okay Actually, maybe we could do this and add a little bit of purple in her room. I feel like it's not bad. I really like the combination of green and purple together, oddly enough. If you don't, I do apologize. I'm gonna add a little green couch and maybe on top of here, we could get a little TV. Ooh, I would love a bench like this somewhere. This is cute little tv over here we could probably get a mirror of some sort and we could put another chair in this corner maybe a purple one like a light purple that's kind of fun Ooh, does that couch the matching one come in green by chance yeah it does but it's too minty this green's fine we have to add those little trophies on the wall wherever they are oh here they are maybe over here by our little bonsai tree or even just on the wall over here isn't there like a jersey as well Ooh, this here could be cool and she had a little tapestry like this in her, her little my room kit. So I think I'm gonna put two little tapestries. I'm gonna add this little like pile of sports equipment on the ground here. Maybe even a little bookshelf. And we could put a little chair in front of it like so. I also think I wanna add a couple of things from the paranormal stuff pack. Ooh, like this little dream catcher. Maybe we could put two next to each other. Just because it said that she's into like spiritual things. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna add this little like seance ball. I wish we had like tarot cards that I could add because she says that she's into tarot cards But that is not something that we've got in the sims 4 but with that I think we have completed Noli's room. I really like how this turned out. Once again, really out of my comfort zone, but I really love how this looks. Let's quickly throw together a bathroom for Noli and Chelsea. Now I could do the same thing as before, but I need to see the swatches that we have for that wallpaper. I'm just gonna quickly throw this together. Be right back. Ta-da, second bathroom all complete. It is basically the exact same as Madison and Barbie's, but it is just red and brown. I think it looks super cute. I love this little split bathroom idea. It's giving dollhouse so much, and that is exactly the vibe of this whole loft that I want to give. And last but not least, we have to decorate up our little patio area. I think I want to fence all this off or put a little like side thing that's made out of brick, like a side, uh, a half wall, if you will. I'm not really sure what I want to add out here. Maybe like a hot tub. Kind of just thinking like what would be in like a Barbie backyard, you know, maybe give them a little bit of like some turf or some grass. Also, please ignore this. It cannot be gotten rid of. Maybe we should make this whole thing grass or turf. I guess it would be turf. Oh, cute. Oh, I love that. So now that we've got the turf down, maybe we can add a little bit of landscaping. And I added these little rocks here to create a little bit of separation. We should definitely add a hot tub. That's for sure. This cutesy little white one is nice. We should add a little bit of like a stone, like gravel area. Ooh, that's cute. We should add some like yoga mats and stuff too. One for each of them. We could do Barbie, Madison, Chelsea, and Noli. We should also add a fun nice like place to hang out out here you can add this over here and then we can add this little table out here with tons of chairs around it actually 
We should just have a little hangout area. We should also give them a little barbecue. Do a little fire pit in the middle here. Okay, cute. I think that's their backyard, which means we are all complete our my scene apartment. Let's tour. Thank you guys so, so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. I appreciate you. If you like this build, you can find it on the gallery under hashtag Ryoa or hashtag Ryoa Sim or my gallery ID is just Ryoa Sim. Comment down below which room was your favorite. I think personally my favorite room was Chelsea's, but you guys can let me know in the comments down below which one was yours. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and do all that fun YouTube stuff as it really helps out my channel. Make sure to comment down below if you have any ideas for future videos. Make sure to check out the description where I have all of my social medias linked, like my TikTok, my Twitch, my Instagram. And with all that being said, I will see you guys next time. Bye!